People want to find peace immediately, but the only way you'll find real peace is by going to war with yourself every single day. The real battleground is in your mind. That's where the fight is. You lay down with it, you get up with it, you go to work with it. It's not haters, it's not enemies, it's not liars, it's not backbiters, it is you. You're the only one who can stop you. And I need you to make a declaration right now. No more excuses. This moment right here is the last time you let yourself off the hook. You've got to become obsessed with improvement. Every day you got to get better. There are those of you who buy a new piece of tech every time a new one is released. Every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. You are constantly upgrading your technology and you've not upgraded yourself. You got to level yourself up every single year, every single month, every single day. You should always be striving to do better than you did last time. So many of you say, I want to be a millionaire. I want to graduate at the top of my class. But your value system says you believe in relaxing more than you believe in grinding. Your value system says you'd rather party than become successful. Your value system says you're a consumer and not a producer. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. The secret is make a plan, execute the plan, become obsessed with the plan and make it your entire life from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed for 20 fucking years. It's the day-to-day -day disciplines. It's the eating the meals, doing the workouts, doing the best you can in your career, doing the best you can for your family. Those are the things that are going to create your superpower so that you can go through life being an unstoppable force. Most things that never get done, never get done because they never get started. There is no perfect time to start. You got to start now with changing your life. Stop sitting on the fucking bench and get in the mother game. Let's make this the year where we stop that shit. Years of mediocrity is what causes people to be bitter. If you want to get around bitter and complaining people, get around people who are not seeing much activity. They're bitter, they're complaining, they're cynical, and they're jealous because nothing is happening, because nothing is going on in their life. And if you want to stop that from happening to you, wake up in the bed and know what you're going after. Get up out of the bed with an agenda. When you have an agenda, you don't spend time worrying about how you feel because it doesn't make a difference how you feel. You woke up with something to do. And if you don't start changing your attitude, you will miss your altitude. The problem is not the condition. It's a matter of discipline. There is no shortcut to excellence. You got to force yourself to get up and get it done every day of your life. Commit yourself to executing on the plan on a daily basis. No matter what's going on around you, stop hoping, stop wishing for great things to happen to you and get up and work for them. Make them happen. Take full ownership of your time, of your mind, of your day. It is the struggle. It is the wrestling. It is the pulling. It is the trial. It is the temptation. It is the stumbling and falling and getting back up again. It is the aggravation and the intimidation that gives you foundation to create a legacy. It is worth it to look bad for a little while and come up looking good for a lifetime than to look good for a minute and come down in a flash. And in order to do that, I've got to become disciplined. I've got to go through some struggle. I've got to get used to suffering because the lifestyle I'm building, it can't be instantly obtained. It takes that blood, sweat, and tears of commitment. I learn in the doing. I learn in the fight. My strength tolerance increases. My ability to handle pain increases. My wisdom increases. I become tougher. I become stronger. I become more and more of an unstoppable beast everybody wants to prize but nobody loves the process everybody wants to be a champion but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion 
everybody. And you got to not only operate in them, you got to do it quick. You got to do it fast. You got to do it in a hurry. Why? Because there's somebody else who's on the same track you are. Somebody else, they're on the same path that you are. It's somebody else just like you trying to do it. And sometimes they're working just as hard as you're working. They're putting in just as much sweat, just as much tears, just as much blood. But you just got to do it what? You got to do it faster than they do it. You got to do it quicker than they do it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's why I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning because if you're getting up at 6, you might be smarter than me. You might. You might have more privilege than me. You might. You might have more resources than me. You might. But I'm going to get up earlier than you and I'm going to do it faster than you do it. So by the time you get up with all your resources, by the time you get up with all your privilege, by the time you get up with all your stuff, I've already finished the race. Are you hearing me? It's hard. Yup, it's hard. Yup, it's difficult. Yup, why? Because the process is weeding out the weak. It's weeding out the weak. And so sometimes you got to play hard. You got to play physical. You got to play tough. Listen to me, this is how you do it over six, seven years ago with no money, no human resources, no building, no funding, no support. The first thing we did was we dreamed, we wrote the dream down, we slept the dream, we ate the dream, we rehearsed the dream, we looked at the dream, we talked about the dream, we slept with the dream, we woke up to the dream, we wore the dream, and now boom, it's our reality. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month, then when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy, and when people tell you stupid, and when people tell you it can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. And I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance. Every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now, because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field. One season, everything. Walk up exhausted. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. The effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. It's one thing to talk about your destiny. It's one thing to dream about your destiny. But it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up. To say no to that party, saying no to quitting when you still got a hundred more shots to make. Saying no when your body said stop, but you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You got to be about it. Yup, it's tough. It's hard. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy to sacrifice. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy to grind. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. But I can tell you this. It will be worth the sacrifice if you can grind your way through it.